Hello, my darlings, and welcome. I want to talk to you briefly about negativity, boundaries, and personal power on the internet. I get an abundance of encouraging and positive comments on my channel, and I absolutely appreciate everyone and feel truly blessed. And the critical and negative comments usually either teach me something or are something I don't let bother me too much. However, I do get occasional negative comments that hurt my feelings, and I wanted to talk about one of those. Recently, I got a comment saying that I am not a real witch because I don't follow what the commenter thinks a real witchcraft path looks like. I'm always surprised by how hurtful these comments are. There's nothing constructive about their criticism. They just drop a casual, hurtful comment and away they go, feeling superior off to judge the next creator, while not producing anything of their own to uplift or inspire. My rational side tells me it's not logical that one negative comment can ruin my day while I receive so many more positive ones. I'm not sure why negative comments carry so much more weight but they do. Any creator will tell you the same thing. Of course, I know that sharing my witchcraft on the internet is opening myself up to criticism, and I should not be, and I'm not surprised when people are unkind. I've been on YouTube for years, and this is nothing new. Also, I keep many of my personal magical workings to myself. I share what I'm comfortable with, but not everything. So of course this particular commenter cannot see my complete witchy path anyway. They're likely judging me based on watching one or two videos. Because of this, their judgment shouldn't bother me, but it did. This is ironic in a way because being a judge is very much part of my personality and it's part of my makeup that I've embraced. I work with the Egyptian goddess Ma'at because of this. A goddess of truth, order, justice, right living, and of course, judgment. Hers is the feather that every soul is weighed against after death to determine its fate. You're probably wondering, what does this video have to do with magical crafting or witchcraft? Well, I made this video to remind you and really to remind myself that boundaries are powerful magic. Many magical workings are done to attract, to cleanse, to banish, and to protect. And there is a powerful bit of magic at our fingertips. It's the ability to block, mute, time out, delete, and report. To decide who you want to interact with and what kind of messaging you want to see on your social media feeds and the internet in general. Use your power to attract content that makes you happy and feels healthy and informative. Content that makes you think and lets you see many perspectives and ideas. Things that make you laugh and make you question. Content that entertains and informs. Spend time in places where you feel like you're joining a community and where you can learn. Any channels, influencers, comments, or pieces of content that don't add value, or even worse, add harm to your day, banish them. Cleanse your feeds. Protect yourself from the hurt that they can bring. I'm not talking about being toxically positive. I'm talking about minimizing harm and protecting your mental health. Use your power to care for yourself and protect your future self. You alone are the master of your fate when you decide where to put your energy and where to withdraw that energy. Everyone on social media is not equally important and you do not owe a portion of yourself to everyone in internet land and prepare to be blocked and deleted if you say I'm not a real witch in the comments of a video 
on my channel. Thank you for watching to the end. I would love to read your opinions in the comments. I know that this video is a big departure from my previous video content. I'm wishing you an abundance of personal power and the magic of boundaries.